Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you're doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our fifth lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called commercial arithmetics 2. So we are looking at our 12th example which reads that Cargo deposited 30,000 shillings in a financial institution that paid simple interest at a rate of 12% per annum. Nekesa deposited the same amount of money as Cargo in another financial institution that paid compound interest. After five years, they had equal amounts of money in the financial institutions. Determine the compound interest rate per annum correct to one decimal place for Nekesa's deposit. So we're going to start by getting the accumulated amount uh, for cargo. So we are going to look at uh, cargo. Now, for the case of um, cargo, we are being told that um, cargo deposited 30,000 shillings. So, of course, this is what we are calling the uh, principal in a financial institution that paid simple interest uh, at a rate of 12% per annum. So, because we are dealing with simple interest for the case of uh, cargo, we are going to get the amount. We know that the amount, whenever you are dealing with simple interest, is always given by uh, the principal then of course plus the uh, simple interest of course which will always be given by the principal then plus the simple interest is given by the formula uh, principal multiplied by rate multiplied by time then of course the rate is always expressed as uh, a percentage so if i substitute the values for cargo i'm gonna have the following so cargo deposited thirty thousand. so of course this is the uh, initial uh, principal which was thirty thousand shillings then of course plus uh, the principal is still 30,000 uh, uh, shillings then multiplied by the rate the rate was 12% per annum so this will be 12 uh, then of course because it is a percentage we divide by 100 then multiplied by uh, the period of investment was actually five years so multiplied by uh, five so there are some common terms which can be cancelled uh, here so of course uh, two zeros and uh, two zeros will cancel out so i'm going to remain with uh, 30,000 30,000 then plus this will be 300 then multiplied by of course 12 multiplied by 5 i'm going to get uh, 60 so this will be equal to 30,000 and then plus uh, 3 by 6 that will be 18 then of course with three zeros so if I take 30,000 plus um, 18,000, of course, I'm going to get a total of uh, 48,000 uh, 48, uh, Kenya shillings. So this was the accumulated amount for cargo, uh, which was being calculated on simple interest uh, terms. Then we look at the second investor who was uh, called Nekesa. So we check uh, for Nekesa, the investment uh, for Nekesa. Now we are told that for the case of Nekesa uh, deposited the amount under compound interest rate. Therefore we are going to use the formula for the uh, compound interest to look for the accumulated amount uh, for Nekesa. So we know that accumulated amount whenever you are dealing with the compound interest will always be given by the principal then of course into one then plus rate of 100 then of course to the power of uh, n therefore for nekesa we are told that nekesa deposited the same amount of money as cargo then of course cargo had deposited 30000 shillings so accumulated amount for nekesa will be equal to the principal was the same which was uh, 30000 uh, shillings then of course uh, into uh, one then of course plus the rate now the rate for nekesa that is what they want us to find uh, they want us to determine the compound interest rate uh, per annum correct to one decimal place for nekesa so i let the rate to be r then of course of a uh, hundred since it is a percentage then to the power of the period of course was uh, five years so this is the accumulated amount for uh, nekesa now we are told that after five years they had equal amounts of money in the financial institutions so it means that the accumulated amount for cargo 
after five years will be equal to the accumulated amount for Nekesa after a period of uh, five years. So that simply means that I'm going to equate uh, the amount for cargo, the amount for cargo, then I equate it to the accumulated amount for uh, Nekesa. So these two amounts should be equal since after five years they both had equal amounts of money in their individual uh, financial institutions. So the amount for cargo was um, 48,000 uh, shillings. So I'm going to have 48,000 uh, shillings being equal to the accumulated amount for Nekesa was uh, this one here, of course, which is uh, 30,000 uh, into one, then plus the rate of 100, then of course to the power of five. So we need to calculate for the value of R. The easiest way of doing that is to start by dividing through with uh, 30,000. I also divide this other side with uh, 30,000. So of course the two 30,000s are going to cancel out. Then three zeros will cancel with three zeros. Then of course uh, 30 divided by 48. If I divide through by 3, uh, 3 into 30, that is uh, 10 times. 3 into 4. That is uh, 1, then of course remainder 1, then 3 into 18, that will be uh, 6. So 6 divided by 10, of course that will give me 1.6. Therefore, 1.6 is equivalent to 1 plus R over 100, then of course the whole of it is to the power of R5. Now to solve for R, I'm going to get the fifth root on both sides of the equation. So I'll take fifth root on this side. I also take fifth root on this other side. So remember, I'm taking fifth root so that the fifth root can cancel with the power of five. So to compute for the fifth root, of course, we'll have five. Then you press uh, shift. That is on your calculator. After that, you press uh, this particular simple. Then you press 1.6. So you press these instructions on your calculator. You'll get the sixth root. That is the fifth root of um, 1.6 being equal to 1.0986 which will be equal to on the right hand side we're gonna remain with one plus r over 100 so I'm, um, i want to remain with um, the part having r alone so i'll take one to the other side so that i'm having uh, 1.0986 then minus one being equal to r over uh, 100. So this is going to give me the following. Of course, if I take um, 1.0986 minus 1, I'm going to remain with uh, 0 0.0986, which is equal to R over 100. So to get the value of R, I'll multiply through by 100. I also multiply this other side by 100. So of course, the two zeros will cancel out. So it means that the value of R will be equal to 0 0.0986 then multiplied by 100. Of course 100 will shift my decimals twice towards the right so I'll have 1, 2. So it means that the rate was equal to 9.86% then of course per annum. But the question wanted me to calculate the rate of compound interest correct to 1 decimal place. So it means that the rate correct one decimal place will be 9.9% uh, per annum. So this was the rate for Nekesa uh, under the compound interest uh, terms. Next we look at our example 13 which reads that Kamau invested 6,400 at 15% per annum compound interest for a period of three years. Salim invested twice uh, that amount at 12.5% per annum simple interest for the same period of time. Find whose investment and more interest and by how much. So we'll start by getting the interest that uh, Kamau's in investment and so we start with the uh, Kamau. Now remember that for this case Kamau made his investment on compound interest uh, terms. We are told that Kamau invested uh, 6,400 which is the principal at 15% per annum which is the rate compound interest for a period of three years. 
So the accumulated amount for Kamau will be given by the principal into one, then of course plus the rate of 100, then to the power of N. Therefore, the accumulated amount for Kamau, the principal was uh, 6,400 shillings into one, then of course plus the rate for Kamau was 15% per annum. So this is uh, 15 over 100, then of course to the power of N, the period was uh, three years. So this will be equal to 6,400, then of course into a one plus 15 over 100, this will give me 0 0.15, then to the power of three. So this will be equal to uh, 6,400, then of course into one plus 0 0.15, this will be 1.15, then to the power of three. So you feed this on the calculator, you're gonna get um, 9,733 shillings and 60 cents. So this was the accumulated amount for Kamau uh, under compound interest term for a period of three years. But the question is interested in the interest. Now, remember that whenever you want to get the interest, the accumulated amount, is always given by the principal, then of course you add the uh, interest. So that means um, the accumulated amount was uh, 9,733 shillings and uh, 60 cents should be equal to, the principal for Kamau was uh, 6,400 shillings. So this was uh, 6,400 uh, shillings then plus the interest that was uh, charged. So to get the interest that Kamau's investment and uh, we're going to have the following. So I'll take this one towards the left hand side. So it means that the interest earned by Kamau uh, will be equal to 9,733 shillings and 60 cents. Then of course minus 6,400 shillings. So the difference is uh, gonna give us a 3,000 333 uh, shillings and 60 cents. So this was the interest earned by Kamau. Next, we move to the next investor who was uh, Salim. So we also look at uh, Salim's investment. So our interest is to get the, the interest uh, that Kamau's investment earned and Salim's investment earned so that we can compare the two. Now Salim invested twice uh, that amount of money. So it means that the principal for Salim will be equal to two times the principal for Kamau, which was 6,400 uh, shillings. So two times uh, 6,400 uh, shillings, this one is going to give us uh, 12,800 uh, uh, shillings. So this will be 12,800 uh, shillings as the principal for uh, Salim. Now, for us to get the simple interest for Salim, we are going to say simple interest for Salim because our interest is just to get the, uh, the amount of interest earned by Salim. Simple interest, of course, is given by the principal multiplied by rate times time. Then, of course, the rate is always a percentage. So this will be equal to the principal uh, for Salim was uh, 12,800 shillings, then multiplied by the rate for Salim was 12.5% uh, per annum simple interest. So this is 12.5. Then of course it is a percentage. So we divide by 100. Then multiplied by the period was the same period of time, of course, which was uh, three years. So I'm going to cancel the two zeros. So two zeros and two zeros will cancel out. So we are going to remain with uh, 128. Uh, then multiplied by 12.5 then multiplied by uh, three. If you fit this on the calculator, you're going to get the simple interest of uh, 4,800 uh, shillings. So that was the interest and by uh, the second investor who was uh, Salim. Now the question wants uh, find whose investment and more interest and by how much. So we'll get the difference uh, between the two interests uh, the difference will be equal to, we'll take the interest for Salim because it is larger, then we subtract the interest for uh, Kamau. So this will be 4,000 
uh, 800 shillings, then minus the interest for Kamau was uh, 3,333 uh, shillings and 60 cents. So you feed that on the calculator, you're going to get a difference of 1,466 shillings and 40 cents. So the question was, find whose investment earned more interest and by how much? So of course, Salim's interest uh, was more. So the answer will be Salim's interest, Salim's uh, interest or investment, Salim's investment by 1,466 shillings and 40 cents. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson and not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.